The men of Gondor prepare for Mordor's onslaught in today's Dawnless Day Siege Battle. What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another 3v3 Dawnless Days Siege Battle for you today. And yes, back in the world of Lord of the Rings. And it does seem as though Gondor's kind of been caught unawares with this uh, defense. And they're quickly marshalling their Gondor archers, it seems, and blow militia here, setting them up, trying to burn down these siege towers. And they're very damn close to doing it. I mean, this one's at 78%, I think it will. Yeah, 76%. And it is nearly yeah, burnt down. It looks like we're going to have uh, Guards of the Teeth. Is that, was that Guards of the Teeth landing first? Yeah. Wow, an elite pole arm being sent onto the wall first. Is an interesting move there by uh, Mordor, that's for sure. I guess maybe just because it's the light tower, it's got there first. Um, but yeah, they need to get some other stuff up there other than pole arms if they want to have any joy of, uh, of taking that wall and not losing an elite unit early on. Over on this side here, it does seem as though the Mordor player is setting up um, Ordo, Mordor... Uh, like Urux and Morgul Raiders and stuff like that uh, first and it seems over on this side here yeah it also seemed like Uruk Throng being set up with like silver chevrons and things like that so yeah some elite um, Uruks actually being sent in there wow but yes uh, Gondor is vastly outnumbered by about 4,000 troops and also trolls are against them here today so yeah you can see these guys already trying to batter down the gates the Uruk Hive being given the orders batter down the gates and don't let any one survive inside. It looks like there's a lot of uh, like defenses set up here by uh, Mordor. They got um, by Gondor. Sorry, they've got multiple tiers of like sword infantry as well and spears so waiting. Got the javies out front for the trolls no and then swords now. and spears behind. And I think yeah, the trolls already destroyed the gate. Wow, they did that quickly. But yes, if you're enjoying the Lord of the Rings action and would like to see some more Dawn's Day's content, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support, guys. It really does help out the channel. And yeah, if you want to get involved in any sort of Dawn of Stays battles or streams, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below, as always, in the description. You can see this glorious gate here that's about to get smashed into smithereens by the ram on the other side. It's not going to be... Um, uh, I forgot what the uh, the, uh, the wolf's like, name is. Grond, that's it. Grond. It's not Grond, it's just a, a, uh, a ram's head. But much less impressive. But yeah, already you can see Mordor is landing. And they are slowing down by the looks of these guards of the teeth and rook spears are just going straight on in. Oh, we've got some uh, Morgul Raiders up here that have landed. And they've managed to catch out these uh, these archers. That is not good for Gondor. This archer unit has barely used any ammunition. And it's been caught out on the walls. This is the risk about sending up archers unsupported. They were going to get turned into man flesh. And yeah, there's more Raiders there. She gets some easy kills. And looks like now we're going to see Gondor come forward here. They are rushing forward. They're going to try and uh, take out these uh, Uruk Spears. The archers here taking good targets on the uh, Guards of the Teeth. And that is exactly what they should be doing. Focus these guys down. And it seems now like Gondor is bringing up some reinforcements to sort of deal with this defense. Over on this side here, it seems like they're quite happy just to let Mordor have the walls. It's an interesting move. Uh, it might work. We'll see. But yeah, we're seeing guards as he lose on the wall decisively. They're getting focused down. It's a good play there by uh, Gondor. I mean, that's exactly what he needs to do. Just focus down those pole arms. If they're going to put them up on a wall like that, first, like, wave, that's fine. Let them get shot to pieces. I mean, the same with the shock. So, uh, I mean, they, that's fine to send them in first, the shock. But pole arms, wow, that's bold. Especially since there's fountain guard still to come and face off against these guards of the teeth. They're going to need... The guards to see for them. I mean, they've got trolls as well. So, you know, Mordor's got other, you know, other ways through. And archers as well to unlock these defenses. Yeah, Mordor should also be rushing down here because they can get these archers that are setting up just by this uh, graveyard. Some bow militia here. And straight down that street is uh, Mordor Uruk there that uh, they need to keep an eye on. Uruk Throng, I should say. Mordor Uruk's are an entirely different unit that the goblins have. It looks like uh, Gondor is going to just defend this, this uh, hilltop defense here. We've got Boromir, we have Faramir, and I presume we have Denethor as well. Yeah, we have Denethor. So we have the three unique uh, generals for Gondor here today, and they're making a defense. The tower has been destroyed. This bodes well. See here, these boys fighting it out as the uh, Gondor archers. Battling off against the Morgul Raiders. And 
yeah, they're slowly getting overwhelmed, these archers. But, you know, big mistakes are still feel like made by Mordor in these early stages here. Lots of pole arms and shock getting uh, shot into here. It is using up a lot of ammo that they're going to have to save for things like uh, trolls as well. But they're hitting good targets, so I can't, I can't really, like, complain. At Gondor, they're doing well. Good, strong start or even Gondor. Even if they maybe lost an archer or two. I mean, taking out a uh, Guards of the Teeth is a, is, a, is a big haul. And they could take this one on too, I feel like. Gondor slowly encircling it. With its unit, you can see a Crescent Formation being formed. And also, they should just shoot it to pieces. Um, and yeah, Gondor could be super aggressive on these units here. Just mop them up. And yeah, Gondor is losing this archer here. This is what I was worried about, that they were going to get rushed by the Auric Throng. The Javi is being active, activated, I think, more did more damage to their allies than it did the foes. And you can see here, I mean, they're going to encircle, the Uruk Throng here is going to encircle these Gondor troops. But yeah, Gang guards the team for losing decisively, fighting Gondor Sword Infantry because of those Archer support. You can see, yeah, Gondor there, he's going to shut off any sort of support. Gondor should really be aggressive here, like I said, deal with these units, and they can keep flooding troops into this sort of area that he's uh, this set up. And he's got a bit of a kill zone going on here. That's for sure. Really, really not uh, not too bad. And the trolls have got in. Oh dear, early deployment for the trolls. They are smacking Gondor about. Javelins here being set up. These Pelagian Marines, they need to throw their javelins as much as possible here. The trolls, I'm sure, are going to try and silence them. And archers are also uh, focusing down these Olok High where they can. You go, orcs and men clash now in the streets here. I don't think the Marines have got their jabbies off. They're still holding a lot of their javelins by looks of it. I don't know if they can still throw them while in melee. Uh, but they haven't killed any of these Olokai yet, which is the main concern. There's another Pelagian Marine further behind. It is obstructed by just about every single Gondor unit in front of it. And Faramir here is now dueling, it looks like, with uh, these Mordor archers here. The Bow Ravel, they should easily deal with, really. These Sicilian Rangers outclass them quite a bit. But it is a good unit to focus down, is Faramir. Sicilian Rangers don't have much in the way of armor, so if he starts to get shot up, he will start to drop. And that is a problem for him. It uh, looks like... Oh, they are defending their rear line. So Gondor swords are here waiting patiently. Good. And we've got ammo being resupplied already by Gondor, which is good to see they're using their ammo supply. A bit concerning that's already being used up. But one of them is. Still battling at the gates here. Gondor has thrown back Mordor on this flank. And there's just some guards of the teeth left. I don't really know what they're fighting. But yeah, Mordor has kind of fully evacuated the side here and they're shifting all the way around. Now going to support on the other side here, and it looks like they're going to go from a three-pronged to a two-pronged attack. So the fronts are open and going to be threatened with Gondor at the creeks, which is good for them. Citadel Guard here, usually defending the white tree, but not today. Now they're fighting in the front lines. Both sides, like, committing... Elite very early. Like, Gondor throwing in the of Guards early. And then you've got Mordor throwing in the Guards the very early as well. So, yeah. But they are beating the Zurich Throng, even though they're chevroned up. Uh, the Trolls still yet to lose a Troll, by the way. Uh, and they are pushing on. You can see, like, look at the body strewn. There's a lot of Gondorians dead down there. Not so many, tr uh, not so many orcs. It looks like the Pelagians are losing. I mean, they are kind of like better when they have their javelins out uh, than they are to when they uh, are like fighting a melee. Bow Rabbit here are starting to die. Uh, but I think, yeah, Faramir has been shot to pieces. This is exactly what I was saying. He's a very vulnerable general to take out, especially when he's like forced in like in a seat like this when he's getting surrounded. And there you go. The Bow Rabbit there manages to take him out. We have got a Cav assault now taking place here. 
Interesting move by uh, Mordor, but they are trying to shift around towers to try and outflank this defense here. And there's two Founding Guard here defending that. My gosh, that's a lot of Founding Guard being thrown in there. Uh, I don't know which army Faramir has, but obviously, whichever one he does have, the their morale is going to be is starting to shatter. Display. Morale here is not looking great either for the Uruks, who are starting to uh, waver. And fire has been sent in. I don't know if that's to try and scare the trolls, or whether it's to try and route the Uruks. Or could be one or the other. But I don't think the trolls get scared by fire. It's that do they have elephant sounds. They don't have the, that sort of like weakness that the elephants have. They fear nothing. These people, the trolls come from a, a place of fire and blood. They love it. Yeah, it's not looking. I will actually over here. There, they managed to take out another archer. Yeah, some bow militia without ammo. So it's not a big loss. But still, Gondor doesn't need to throw away units that doesn't really like can't afford to. Like that. Their cordon's been forced back a little bit. They were defended by that gate, uh, and it looks like looks like they might have died here by looking at the amount of bodies. But they're falling back by the looks of it. And yeah, the Uruk strong here. Now fighting against Gondor spear infantry. Oh, men of Gondor, your men's last hope. If you fall, the kingdom of men falls. I can hear a lot more like orcs breaking though. I mean, the Pelagears are broken there, but the trolls are starting to die seven out of eight. I feel like when one drops, they all start to drop. Uh, the Gondor archers here really need to deal with these orc bow rabble. I feel like that's actually, at the moment, seems like one of their biggest concerns. I feel like their pole arms can kill trolls and other pole arms. If they can just kill off the archers, they've got a good chance of, uh, of like uh, holding here. Don't know what the mistake happened here, but Gondor had four units in here. I guess he's falling back because he's getting flanked. Uh, yeah, they, I think they're just getting a bit scared. They're just like, oh, we're, get, we're getting flanked. Let's not fight anymore for it. But I don't think this is any better. Like holding here with a founding guard, they're getting side shot as you can see already by Orc Bow Rabble, which are already down to 46 and then finally the broke is which is quite enemy. incredible yeah personally I think they, they were fine to hold where they were fight for the walls if they wanted to yeah the trolls uh, sorry the uh, trolls the orcs here I feel like they're going to kill off the Donald sword and the, the combination of sword and shocks working quite well might have pulled through there a little bit there chaps or whether they're just disengaging to try and gate something else. I don't know. That's definitely a pull through there. They just ignored that unit. The trolls are dying. At least these ones are. Six out of eight. There are other trolls now over on that side being committed. And it's whether they've saved ammunition. Ammunition and pole arms is going to be the way that they're going to kill these guys. On this side here, I mean, the trolls have got to get through a lot more. The Pelican Marine here don't have uh, javelins, so that is a problem for Gondor. Uh, the Citadel Guards here are now getting messed up. Like, it shows like an elite spear still doesn't stand a chance against these trolls. Like, they are tough nuts to kill. I don't know whether they're going to get rebalanced. I personally don't think they need to be. I think, for the, like, the massive price you're paying for these guys, like, uh, you want them to be strong. Uh, like, they have to be killed by javelins, really, or missiles. Pole arms can kill them, but uh, you're still running a risk you won't kill them. Uh, looks like Pelican Marines are out there, but it looks like Gondor's on the offensive on this side here. Or more that got Gondor pulled back to allow the shock to go in. Might be more the case. Yeah, trolls, I don't think are too over uh, overpowered. You can maybe lower them a little bit, maybe in strength, but I still think they're really good. They're like. Like, good where they're at. I don't think they need to be altered at all. Yeah, the Gondor infantry, though, is losing. Having got charged up by Morgul Raiders has actually not helped them at all. 
Uh, and yeah, Gondor slowly getting squeezed here. Looks like more force to be sent over here. The cab really being thrown in. And it was there. It's a really bizarre tactic. It seems like it's working. And they're also obviously the troops light coming off the wall. They're really causing problems. I don't know why we're getting a lag spike now, but we are. The, uh, there we go, the Ringlow Veil men at arms they're fighting on. Keep doing what you do, boys. Keep doing what you do. Yeah, not looking great, I won't lie. Most of the Gondor fights now are looking a bit more in favor of Mordor. You can see, yeah, they got routed here, the Gondor swords. I wonder whether these are the troops here at the back are the ones that Faramir had control of. Oh, the towers fall. That might do damage to uh, Orcs, which will help. Gondor, that's for sure. But yeah, I wonder where the Faramir's troops here are at the back, whether they're low on morale. I mean, they're not going to be happy in a moment when they see this uh, Mordor Uruk, this Uruk throng, sorry. And that flanks in, and that surrounds these uh, Ringo Veil men at arms. And also, Gondor swords there, that's then pretty much wrapped up and dead. And that's what Mordor's going to do, is just trying to surround units. Best way that I think they're going to try and kill them. In a like, straight up fight like this, they're going to take a lot of losses. I mean, 7,800 against 4,200. Mordor's lost 3,000-ish to uh, Gondor's 2,000. Going off that, it's going to be closed. But also, Gondor's has to use a lot of its firepower just to get Mordor down to that level. Trolls still fighting on in this flank here. It shows like the strength these guys are at. Yeah, they are. What, what are we seeing here being brought forward? Oh, axes. Warriors and Lozmark being sent in. Maybe that might work. The Yolk High is still at half strength there. They need more troops here. It's Gondor. They've got two units to hold the line for now. I don't think that's enough. Gondor's actually just mass routed there. That's not so great. He is mass Yeah, these units are 50... Oh, there's 100 troops that just routed there. That is not great. Not great at all. The brave Ringlow Veil men at arms getting surrounded down here. I mean, also with the war cry abilities that the servants of the eye have, that's probably going to help route these guys. That's not so great. Endothor is about to be on the front line here, so another general about to be under threat. And it looks like Gondor is trying to pull... I think he's trying to pull back troops where he can. I think he's trying to make the, uh, the cordon a little smaller. It's not looking good. It's a grim day for men right now. A lot of orcs about to get a lot of man flesh. If he carries on like this. Feels like the battle is shifting ever so slightly in favor of uh, Mordor. Not that like ground's been made up. A little bit in the back has been like made by Go by Mordor, but it just feels like you know Gondor's starting to lose a few more units. Faramir being lost is a big loss, I think. I don't know why they just shift him over to this far side here. There's no archers here, Could have, and then he would have been safe. Yeah, looks. It just looks and feels like they're, they're not make, they're losing ground a little bit gradually. I mean, the trolls here have helped spearhead this uh, this force forward. I mean, there's not really anything over here now, though. This like army is pretty that took this gate is pretty much gone. Well, it's not gone actually. It's just moved to this gate, this side here. Yeah, looks like oh the trolls. Are there. I think they pulled through. Trolls pulling through. That's fine. It's that's an allowed. It's a legal move. Pelagian Marines wavering 103 is not good though. That's not a legal move, uh, Pelagavarines. You should not be wavering that early on. And here we go. Trolls going in. They're going to rear charge these fellas. And that might finish them off. 
In go the trolls. They can start smack down in these guys with their uh, heavy hammers. Oh yeah, and there you go. Look at that. Wavering immediately, pretty much. Brutal. Yeah, I mean, talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. That is unfortunate there for the uh, Gondol players. And yeah, they, they routed. I don't know wh whether these guys are just all... Those ones are all under the command of Faramir or what. But yeah, they, they broke pretty much instantaneously. This side is going to be pretty hard now. It's going to be a tough nut for the uh, mortal forces to crack. I mean, it seems like they're gradually getting through uh, Founding Guard. They are still, like, burning through the ammunition here. Orc Bow Rabble might be able to kill off a couple more. Don't know why they haven't... Maybe they're saving the ammo for the trolls, but I guess that's why they're not shooting these other Bow Rabble. And Gondor is constantly falling back here, and he Battle keeps falling back. Like, I don't know why he gave up this choke point here. He fell back there, and he's now... meant that Denethor's going to get encircled here in a moment. Oh, he's going to get caught out, that's for sure. Running, Denethor is going to take losses as he runs here. Keep an eye on him, 96. 95, he's dropping. He's got to turn and stop somewhere. I don't think he, well, he might make it out of this alive. Yeah, yeah, I think he is. Maybe so, but unfortunately this other Gondor Sword is not. And they are fighting for survival. It's a desperate, desperate fight. And Gondor's going to have to do that. He's going to have to kill a general. A Mordor general is going to have to die somewhere. I think this Gondor unit... Eh, it's not broken yet. Oh, Gondor tried to relieve it. They sent in Pelican Marines. They're going to try and save that unit. I think that was the worst decision they could have made, to be honest. I think you're just sending more men to their deaths here. A, well, a lot of Uruks died in that charge, to be fair. They've got a lot of the... A lot of Uruks died. Yeah, Pelican Marine's winning. The Uruks, yeah, getting slaughtered, actually. Maybe it was worth it. Denethor maybe should back up a charge or someone else should... Oh, this is not so good, though. The Founding Guard's getting, having got focused on that flank. I think there's a gap in the line. A mortar has broken through. Now we have some of the Iron Mortal Raiders fighting side by side here. And they're in the heart of the Gondorian camp. So yeah, they need these archers out of combat. Let them start shooting again. Let them do what they do best. Like, get these reserves doing something. Like, there's no point just standing them here. Like, you've got two solid lines you can hold for a little while. Get these guys back to the back point and try and rectify this issue. Try and save your founding guard. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm defending this side. Don't worry about me, guys. Like, no, you do. You need to worry. Boromir should be sent back. He needs to help out his dad. Try to defend the rear, the rear lines. There's a general here as well. Like, this is a Wish King general. You could kill that. That would probably end this army here. It's pretty battered. Pretty low on reserves. He needs to be careful. There's the Witch King. He's, I don't think he's pulling through too much. He might pull through a little bit. Eh? Gondor unit is pretty battered. Or it's a Loznak. Getting those big axes heavy. Heavy? Those big heavy axes bloody. That's what I meant to say. Words are hard. Words are hard, man. Yeah, Citadel Guard's going in. They should help, you know, sort this flank out. The Founding Guard, though, losing slightly is not great. That is for sure. They need to keep those guys alive. They are the lifeblood of this army. Boromir with his Oskilius veterans now going to the fight. He's going to certainly turn this fight with the uh, Uruk Throng in his favor. These guys are absolute, like, ama like an amazing looking unit. And they are veterans. These guys have seen everything. But it comes to the horrors of war in Middle Earth. I can see Boromir as well fighting in the front lines. Go on, you legend. Yeah, the uh, Uruk's wrong there. They're dying. 
Very good. And there you go. That's what you have to do. That's why he's in reserves. They've rectified the issue back here. They can just reinforce this now. And then, I mean, what can they throw in? Some oak spears? Some swords? There's nothing that's too exciting there. This is a problem, though. And I don't like how effective these servants of the gut uh, since the eye are being in a uh, siege battle. Servants of the Eye have been allowed far too many times now just to charge a unit and stay in melee with it and they're killing it pretty much. These guys are going to murder these Perga Marines along with the uh, Polans here. Good combo. Denethor might get charged by them, we'll see, but he is a spear unit, so very different story charging him. But yeah, the trolls here, I mean, they've killed one troll unit off, I think. But they haven't, they haven't even killed that one, jeez. There's the other troll units now in here. Yeah, the Pelican Marines, like I said, they're necessary now in a Gondor army because they have javelins. And like you need the javelins to kill things like trolls and stuff. But they are not good fighters and the trolls just burst on through as they should. And they're going to the next line of defense. Gondor swords and archers here and they're going straight on it. Look at this. The sea of silver armor around them. Just, just whack your mates and you're just going to hit like 20, 30 guys. They could also now back charge into the remains of these uh, Gondor troops down here. But the Pelican Marines aren't looking great. It actually looks like they're going to keep retreating. I don't know where they plan to retreat to. But there's nothing left to retreat back to. It's like open ground back here. These archers need to start blasting those trolls. Let's just try and hope that you're going to kill them. Boromir now having rectified this side. Should now start to think about shifting his reserves back towards the north side. Defending that. Founding Guard, in credit to them, I don't know how many kills they've got, but it's an elite unit they've held on for a long time. Morale for them must be great. Well, it is great, I know that, but like they're, they're unfazed, but like that. Confident, yeah, casually sustained. They don't give a damn. they will carry on fighting. Yeah, now look at this, you need to get these reserves and need to patch up different areas. That's what they've got to do. Archers there are firing, trying to do damage to the trolls. Denethor here is fighting. I think the Sons of the Eye are actually dismounted now. I can see, uh, yeah, a lot of rideless horses just kind of mixed, like standing about. Yeah, Denethor is dying though. I. I know this is a strategy to use Servants of the Eye uh, as like a uh, as a dismounted unit. I know they keep most of their stats and they dismount, so they are actually pretty decent melee infantry. Probably why they're matching up with Denethor quite nicely. The trolls rear charging this massive Gondorian infantry here, it's routing some of these Pelagian Marines, and then they go all those archers there. They're going to again have to try and slow down Mordor here. I mean, numbers aren't looking good now. It's 5,600 against 1,100. Banners of Gondor are still flying high, but for how long I do not know. Boromir is falling back and they're going to send archers in. It's maybe Boromir has been sent to this other flank of here because this is just solely archers. Maybe they're sending him because he's a, I don't know, a troll killer or something. I mean, he's not really, but he might have the best chance of killing them. His dad Denethor still holding on here with the Citadel Guard. Black Minorians, he's so into the eye. Have they broken through? No. 
they're just rushing forward maybe I really do not know maybe they changed their attack order we one or the other can they not sneak through that gap there is that not a gap that Mordor can go through maybe not yeah Boromir is o arriving over here Yeah, he's just gonna get stuck in there. He might hold the oh, I say he might hold the line. He's losing decisively. He is not holding that line. And his dad, Denethor, is broken here. This is uh, not good, and that's gonna allow Mordor to flank in from multiple sides here. And uh, yeah, Archer's starting to break. I mean, if uh, Denethor or Boromir dies, I mean, Denethor has a good chance he could just get caught and killed. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good. The Archer's here gonna come out with ammo left. Ah, uh, it's not good. It's not good. Definitely don't wanna do that. Wasting ammo. At least shoot your ammo, then go to melee. The desperate times from the desperate needs here from Gondor. And it looks like they're about a mass route here, actually, along this side. And I think we are about to see a massive mass route here for Gondor. There you go. Yeah, Boromir breaks with still like 70 men left. There you go. A close victory. Uh, for Mordor. And honestly, I think Gondor did okay, but I think he should have defended the walls. I think that's the first mistake it made. Defend the walls, because, like, I mean, some of the units that Mordor sent over first, like pole arms and shock infantry, if you held them on the walls and shot them with your archers, you would have just evaporated them. I mean, he did evaporate quite a few units, but I think could have evaporated even more and held the walls as well. And, like, they had some of their own shock uh, available and, uh, like, swords and stuff that are decent, you know, could do well. But yeah, this is sent in from, um, I think it's sent in from Batwin Max, who's playing as one of the Mortar armies. So thank you very much for sending this one in, man. Uh, 136 kills here with the Uruk Throng, 181 with another one there. His Shock, his Morgul Raiders, getting 135 kills. His Bow Rabble, 172 kills. The Servants of the Eye, 207 kills, 197 with another one here. And the Trolls, 239. And the real OG Crab playing as uh, one of the Mortar armies. I think he, yeah, he had all the Chevron Uruk Throng. Won't get 219, very good. Two seven, uh, 170, sorry. Um, but yeah, some of them still died pretty, uh, like, with easily without uh, with the, with those chevrons. They still died, didn't do much of an impact. Uh, his uh, shock infantry, 185, 176, and then the pole arms, 95. And then we have GFR Odd uh, playing as a uh, final mortar army. 176 kills with his Uruk throng there. Um, Spears getting 114, it's not too shabby. And then his trolls, 336 kills is very, very good. Then we have Canny Doggy uh, playing as uh, as Gondor. Uh, playing as the Denethor's Gondor, I should say. Uh, getting 86 kills with a here with his Gondor sword infantry. Actually, most of his infantry did not get over 100 kills, which is kind of worrying because you're playing Mordor, which has mass on its side. Citadel Guards, 169, three, 139, sorry. And then 132 kills there with Gondor Archers. 278 kills with the Athelian Rangers is a pretty good haul. Then we have um, Capped uh, Saver Ho playing as. Uh, Boromir's Gondor, 122 kills with Boromir, 190 kills with the Pelagir Marines, 374 kills with this Fountain Guard, 258 kills with the Gondor Archers, 206 with another Gondor Archer there. Then we have Kratos playing as the final Gondor Army. Faramir getting focused down did not help his side, um, only getting a mere 19 kills, 100 kills with the Pelagir Marines. The Gondor Swords, 97. Shock Infantry, 184 kills. 181 kills with the Citadel Guards. And then all the Archers getting over 200 kills. 235, 242, the best there. But there you go, guys. That is today's Dawn of Stay Siege Battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.